This video is going to show you how you can set up a comparative income statement in Sage 50 or Peachtree. We're going to start by going to the Reports and Forms and choose Financial Statements. And we're going to use the standard income two years as our starting point. So you can see here that the standard report shows us current month this year, current month last year, year to date this year, and year to date last year. But I want to add some columns to this so that we can see our variance. So let's click the design button up here. And then the column descriptions is where we're going to go to add the columns. You can either right click on it and choose properties or you can double click. So each row in this table represents a column on your report. We'll come down to the first available line and we're going to add a formula column for a title, we'll call it variance. And our column doesn't need to be this wide. We'll narrow that down to 12. And we're going to right align this just so it matches the other columns. Now, we want to take the, uh, the current month for this year and subtract the current month from last year. So that means we're going to take column 2 and subtract column 3. And I'm not going to uh, set any rounding on there, but you can if you want. You can round to whole dollars or to thousands. And then we'll come over here and use the Move Up button so that it is uh, right after the current month columns. Now we can also add another column that shows the variance as a percentage instead of as a dollar amount. So we'll check the print button there again. And this time we're going to choose percentage. And put a heading on there. And this one can be narrower still since it's just going to be a, a percentage. And we'll make that right of column. So now we want to use our variance amount, which is in column 4. So we'll use column 4 and we'll divide that by last year which is column 3 so we can get the percent that it has changed and then we'll move that up so that it follows our uh, our dollar variance now we're going to repeat that process here for the year to date section the formula variance change the column width and title and so then this time we will use column 6 and subtract column 7. We don't have to move these this time since they belong at the end. Set a percentage. And then we will use column 8 and divide by column 7. We'll click OK and I'm going to preview this. Well, I'll show you a, a problem that we've actually created in the process here. You can see that our second row of headings are no longer lined up with our first row of headings. So let's go back into design and then here we've got another row called column title. So we'll go into those properties and we just need to move these down so they're now in the right place. So we can cut that and paste it in here on the second year to date column. And then same with it this year, we'll cut that and move it to our first year to date column. Click OK and preview. And so now you can see that we've got current month this year, current month last year our variance as a dollar amount, our variance as a percentage, and then the same things for the year to date. Now that does make a really wide report, um, so you might need to make your columns narrower, or if you just wanted to show your variance as a percentage without the uh, dollar variance, we can go back into design and go to our column description properties. You need to calculate this in order to be able to calculate the variance, but you don't have to print it. You can uncheck that print box right there, and then again down here in the year-to-date section, 
so that even though we're calculating a column here, it's not showing up on the report. If we preview that, now you can see we still have all of our original columns except for the variance of the dollar amount. But here we have the percentage. It makes it a little bit easier to fit on the page, so that might be more useful to you. Anyway, that's how you can make a great uh, comparative income statement in Sage 50 or Peachtree. Once you've got the report laid out the way you want it, don't forget to click the Save button and give the report a new name, like maybe Income 2 Year with Variance, and save that. That way, when you come back, you'll always be able to find that report in the list, and you won't have to go through setting all your options again.